thy lovers have forgotten thee. Oh. All your lovers forgot. That's already happened. You see, America wanted to go into Syria to attack in Syria, and the UK was like, nope, we ain't going. <laughs> Your boy George Galloway was up in Parliament, and he was cursing fools out, saying, oh, you want to go support uh, the America? You know, he's talking that, I can't speak that Scottish shit. He had that Scottish accent, talking about, just cursing America out. And fuck y'all, we ain't helping shit. Pretty much is what he said. Everybody's trying to turn their back on the And usually, United Kingdom always got America's back. Yeah. They're just scared because they see the problem. Yep. They're hearing these prophecies because they're, they're men of the Lord over there, too. Uh, yep. Keep going. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. All thy lovers. They it's seek thee not. It's like Saudi Arabia going to turn on America. All right. And right now, they're buddy, buddy. But it, Okay. So getting all them, all they money. Yeah, they gonna turn on your ass, man. <laughs> when they when they don't need you no more, they turn on you. It's like all these nations are gonna turn on America. It's already happened. Right. Well, actually, it really started happening with that Syria thing. Really, hard, hardcore, man. Took it to a whole new level. Sovereign nation they ain't bothering no motherfucking body. They want to go in there and get all in their business. When they got fucked up business at home. And then Putin came up in there. It was like no. Right. He made a, uh, Obama look like a bitch. You know what I mean? Now nah, they making America look like a bunch of bitches. Yeah, they are America is a bunch of soft, weak bitches, man. It's a country of soft, weak bitches. And guess what, those soft, weak bitches? Obama say ain't no troops going in on boots. Ain't no boots going to be on them ground. Guess what? Y'all going in on, on foot. That'd be awesome too. That'd be it's, good for you. It's going to happen. That'd be good for y'all, man. Be a nice experience for you. That's right. It's going to happen whether you want it to or not. It, it, it was beautiful to see all these little young men. And women. No, yeah, all the women too. Yeah, they're combat ready now. Yeah, they're That's equal. Right. They That's can right. go to combat. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's good for y'all. Go on the front line. Let's see, on the front line. Let's, see how, let's see how them Syrians hand, handle you bitches That's on right. the battlefield. That's right. See how they do you. Let's see how many multiple rapes happen to your ass. And they ain't going to kill the women, trust me. Yeah. That's right. They're going to spare your ass and mm -hmm. you're going right on the market. That's right. Open wide, bitch. Yep. <laughs> Open the men, wide, they would kill the men and take the women. Open wide, bitch. I, that's how them Arabs, they get down like that. With them Syrians, they all the same. It's been all over there. You're going to get a lot of heathen dick. There's a lot of Jake over there, too, though. Yeah. There's a lot of Israelites over there. They all, too. They all raw, <laughs> rough, rugged, and ruthless Ready over there. Kill. They killers over yeah. there. They chop heads off. The kids over there making videos of them playing like they chopping heads off now. Yeah. Little kids. Oh yeah, they in America. If you a little kid got caught with a gun, they call the cops on it. A toy gun, I mean. Right. A, a neighbors calling the cops and shit. Little Let's kid, see that. little kid, had, it happens all the time. Just happened again. That kid, Just other day. That kid, they said a kid made a, a gun out of Lego blocks and school got in trouble. And they talking about expelling yeah. the kid in, for life. In the Middle East, little kids have real guns. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And they do. They got that here too, actually. But more so over there. If you go in the hood, you'd be surprised what you find. Yeah, my wife worked with some woman that um, every year on her birthday, on her son's birthday, he ain't number like 12 now, 12 or 13 now, she buys uh, she buys him some type of loot. That's all for it, man. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. Ain't gonna be used to they only cramped. got so many bullets, and when they run out of bullets, what's gonna happen? What you gonna really do with them bad. guns? Throw it at somebody? Ammo. Well, yeah, ammo is easy to get. That's it's gonna be a come up. Ammo is gonna be like gold. And when the when the economy breaks down and everything goes into lawlessness, it's gonna be serious gold. So, like, like, say if an EMP hit, if an EMP hit, and the, the, the grid went out. That's called electromagnetic pulse. Yep. Then uh, the ma mo most valuable things would be food and water first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Right. And then gasoline, uh, bullets. Ammunition and then and women and that women's up the top of the list too. That's right. That's gonna be the currency. most. That's gonna be the top currency. currency. Gold and silver will always be there too. Yep. Cause you can do a lot of shit with gold and silver. So that that's gonna be your main money right there. Your big money makers. That's Food, right. water, bitches, guns, whiskey. Uh, but we this is our gun right here. We don't need no weapons, man. Yep. We don't need that shit. This is it right here. This is the we gun. Waiting, we waiting for the Lord. We waiting for. Oh the yeah, Lord. I was just saying. That, that's just how it works, you know what I mean? Because, you know, we don't need that shit. That's right. Some people, yeah, you're right, people get it twisted. Our defense is your how what, your how is shot. Some people get it twisted. Wow, they're saying they're going to... 
No, nah, man, we don't care about nothing. We're just telling you. That's what happened in a real scenario. And a dude, yeah, and a, that's what he just speaking the, uh, the, the, the reality. When society breaks down, that's what's going to be valuable. That's right. Hey, you're going to be able to buy nothing with them dollar bills. <laughs> Jeremiah 30 and 14. All thy lovers have forgotten thee, they seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one. For the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. Look at that, sins is increased out here. Like 20 years ago, you might see one faggot out of 100 people. The 10 years ago it increased and now here it is 2013 every other person's a faggot wearing a man wearing a pink shirt and fucking unicorns and uh got butterflies in his hair and shit 95 percent of women are lesbians yeah so it's, it's increased and yeah, that's what's really talking about israel too okay that's what we're really talking about because you know most of the people in america are israelites anyway yeah it's applying to everybody. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's applying to everybody. Yeah. What's, yep. Yep. Jeremiah 30, 15. Why cries thou for thy affliction? Yeah, how come y'all, when that destruction comes, how come, why are you going to be crying like that? I thought you was an independent woman. <laughs> I thought you was independent. You didn't need no man. Strong woman. Oh, a strong woman. Yeah. A strong black woman. Yeah. Those are the strongest kind of women, That's right? right? That's what they say. That's right. Strong black woman. Hey, yeah. they strong shit. Read that again, man. <laughs> you bitch gonna be lining up looking for protection. Jeremiah 30 and 15. Why criest thou for thy affliction? And when them bitches too, they scream, they'll be screaming and playing. They gonna sound like a wild animal in pain. They gonna be, it's gonna be a horrible sound too when they pleading for mercy. You know what I mean? It's an awful sound. That sorrow is incurable. It's gonna be music in my ears. It is. I can't wait to hear this shit. It's sound like an opera. Right, right. We'll be like, woohoo. Go ahead. Jeremiah 30, 15. Why cries thou for thy affliction? Yeah, so y'all shouldn't be surprised when this destruction comes, man. That's why, that's what Jeremiah was telling him. He's like, I'm telling you right now, so don't be surprised when I have to keep going. That sorrow is incurable. It's incurable. Like, hey, like, we tell people there's no hope. And people get mad at us with it. They be like, how can you tell someone there's no hope? That just ain't right. <laughs> well, it is right. No there's no hope. It's incurable. Right, right. Well, well we can, you can tell when there ain't no hope for somebody, man. For most of these people, there ain't no hope. So why even waste your time with them? Why, why try, waste your time to debate with a dumb bitch? There's no hope. One of these faggot ass men is, you don't stand a chance. It's like pissing against the rain. You know? Or it's pissing it's, against the wind, I mean. Right, that nigga that, she, the nigga she was just fucking, they lying, they lying to your ass. But the most high, he right. said it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah, we're... Several of them are snowing while it's snowing. You know? <laughs> right, while it's busy piling up behind your ass. <laughs> you gotta go right. Yeah, go read that again. That's a good one, man. That's a real good chapter right there. Jeremiah 30 and 15. Why criest thou for thy affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable. It's incurable. For the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. Sins were increased. Well, he say there's no hope for these dumbass bitches. These fucking faggot ass men. Keep going. Like, you see someone like that dude we see walking down the street. Looking like Kanye West, West mixed with an Urkel. Got some tight ass pants. He wearing some high waters. The damn high waters. I mean, I mean who wears that shit? Wearing some penny loafers. <laughs> what the fuck is that, man? Oh, go ahead. Wow. That's a cool little bike right there. Yeah. <laughs> Why criest thou for thy affliction, thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. 
I all have got these sticks on Tootie. Sales are increasing. It's like all these women are making all them pornos. They make millions and billions of pornos, man. I mean, you go to, there's a sex shop on like every corner. You can go up in a sex shop like Waterbeth and stuff or the Lion's Den or everywhere. You go up in there, be giant dildo. You can watch be dildos everywhere, be giant pussies, electronic pussies, electronic dicks. You can buy beer mugs that look like dicks. I mean, people's in some weird sick shit out here, man. There's some weird shit going on out here. Oh, no, there's one right here. Look, they got one of those stores right there. That's the weed store. All the weed stores sell dildos, too. Adult novelties, it says it right there. You see, so you, people be going in there and be buying giant dildos and penis pumps and anal beads. You know what I mean? All kind of weird shit, man. People, that sells. Yeah, you know, y'all ain't, ain't just noticed that motherfucking anal might up, up there in that window half naked and shit. Yeah, it's a weirdo. Oh, I like these women, they always have toy parties. You ever hear that? The oh, yeah, when yeah. a woman, they have, they'll have a toy party. They do it all the time, then they make money selling Yeah, all the up. bitches at work have toy parties. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And they they go about, play with toys with each other. And they talk about it openly. Well, they, they'll go and sell dildos to all of their friends. It's oh, like we a, having a party after work. Yeah, because they started off with Tupperware parties. Now they got dildo parties. This bitch this? brought in this chapstick. She was like, if you put it on your nipples, it will make your nipples go numb. And, and they'll say that out in the open. And they'll be open about it. Like, it's no big deal. You know what I mean? She was like, she's, the one bitch said she had this stuff that made her throat go numb so she could suck dick all night. I've heard of that too. Yeah, they suck, yeah, they make it so they can deep throat better. And they talk about it in the open like it's no big deal. That's that ancient Babylonian shit sticking dude over up your ass and That's what the fucking Africans used to do with hand lights used to do. Back in the ancient days, sticking shit up in the head, sticking dude on Fake dicks. Fake dicks. But they always get yeah, they make them out of clay. You always hear the story of bitches fucking themselves with hot dogs, getting hot dogs, hot dogs breaking off in a bitch. Cucumbers. They, yeah, they fuck themselves with whiskey bottles, with whiskey still in it. They go, man, they all matter and shit, man. It goes on and on for days. I don't know, we can't we always keep talking about the women. This is awful, man. Well, and they ain't to the day that the faggot eat motherfuckers too, man. Fucking goddamn Edomite. It's not worse than a goddamn Edomite, man. It's just a big faggot. Oh, go, ahead. Go, ahead. Uh, uh, go ahead. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29 and 17. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, mm. and mm. will make them like Bow figs. That is beautiful, man. The Lord said he's going to send the sword and the pestilence on your ass, man. So where are you getting this Jesus' love shit, man? All this, all God's all love. God's all. We got to get Jeremiah 29 and 17. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like bow figs, that cannot be eaten, they are so evil. They are so evil, that's talking about y'all. You guys ever been to Potter's house? Huh? What's Potter's house? Oh, man, you're getting cl too close, bro. Oh, you, you could be a terrorist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could, man. You could, you could be a, yeah, you could be a... What about it, man? You been there? No. No, you never been there? What is it? Potter's house? Uh, what is it? Is it a beer house or something? No, no, man, it's a church. Uh, oh, no, no. That sounds scary. What, what kind of stuff goes on in there? We just worship God, man. Yeah. Which God? Yeah, what? Jesus Christ. You know that's not Jesus' real name? Yahweh? No, no. Oh, you got another name for him? No, Yahweh is not, that's, that's supposedly God's name. Yahweh? That's not God, that's not how you say God's name in Hebrew. That's not, that's Yiddish. <laughs> that, the so-called Jews, hey, give well, me. What's your denomination? How about that? What's We're Israelite. There ain't no denomination. We're the nation of Israel. We're a nation of people. With the Lord's children. You ever hear the Israelites? Hey, give right. me Matthew 15, 24. Uh, who, who's the church? What people? What people? Are? The Lord got a holy people. Who's the Lord's children? Yeah, the Jews, man, the Gentiles. What? The, the Lord's people are the Israelites, bro. Matthew 15, 24. 
Matthew 15 and 24. This here the Lord tell you. Matthew, the Lord's keyboard is everybody. No. Jesus. Matthew 15 and 24. The Lord created everybody, but his his people, his holy people, which he set aside and separated from the nations to be his chosen people, to be his apple of his eye. Be the Jews. No, no, no. Well, actually, they're the real Jews. Okay, not them devils over, over there in Israel. Uh, them devils over there torturing Palestinians every day. Hey, give me that, Matthew 15, 24. Matthew 15, 24, but he his, answered. His potter's house ain't teaching this. Read it. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Lord said he was not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who the Lord came to say, the lost sheep. Okay? So when you read a Bible and you see talking about the Gentiles, that's that lost sheep of Israel that's been scattered among the Gentiles. Because Israel is scattered among all nations. So what are you preaching to people? They just preach read it to you, bro. God, that's the gospel. I mean, I understand that, but what is the main purpose? We're, um, we out here, um, we're pushing truth and crushing falsehood. Hey, there's a heathen that was coughing on us. The wicked. Like, here, look at me that picture of Jesus. That's what we're doing. You, you, you believe in condemnation? <laughs> is this, this the Jesus you worship right there? Is that, is that the Jesus up in Potter's house? I know they got them Jesus up in there, don't they? Hey, give me a, give me a, uh, another Jesus. Uh, First Corinthians, I mean Second Corinthians, uh, ele uh, eleven and four. Second Corinthians eleven and four. But they got pictures of this Jesus up in there. Probably. See, see, that's the false Jesus. This is not a biblical image. The Lord did not look like that. Okay. No one knows what Jesus looked like. We do know what he looks it's like. In the it's in the Bible. In the Bible, how he looks. This right here is the devil. But let me read this to you real quick. All right. All, all these churches, dude. They're actually the synagogues of Satan. They, you, they all are devil worshippers. Right. All these churches, they're all under a 501c3 government charter. Okay, they're all set up by the government. They got little spies up in there. They're all set up to keep people asleep. Just hold on. Look. Throughout, throughout the whole history of the planet Earth, Governments have always used religion to control people. Okay, so all these churches out here—they all giving you religion. That's how that's how the elite keep you in control with religion. They control you with religion, with sports, with entertainment. You know what religion means? We ain't teaching religion. Let's check this out. This is Second Corinthians 11 and 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, another Jesus like this one right here, this ain't the real Jesus. The Jesus they teaching in all these churches, that's not a real Jesus. You know that, that scripture we just read? Why is all believe that? Hydraulic pump. Yeah, somebody probably did it. Oh, uh, yeah. Somebody probably rigged it. You know? Something probably happened. It's probably There's bad. always shootings every day. There's mass shootings at Columbus every day. Every day. You know, the Columbus cops, they shoot your ass in a dark alley and leave you there. You know what I mean? Throw you in the river. Hey, Columbus cops will shoot your ass and put a gun, plant a gun and drugs in your ass. Yeah, they do, they do all, they don't play around, man. Yeah, these cops is different than cops like from New York. Yeah, they soft you know, over there. These cops is real cops. Yeah, I've been to jail. Yeah, we all been to jail. That's not a fun place. Every do. time I've been to jail was for nothing. Shit, we live in jail. Every time, I've been, I, I I've been arrested several times house. for felonies that I never committed, man. Yeah. That some devil lied. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Some devil lied. I've been locked up plenty of time for nothing. Nothing. Oh, here I got a scripture for you. Well, let me finish this one though, man. Okay. For if he that come and preaches another Jesus. Another Jesus, like them church, them churches out here, they're not teaching about Israel. The word Israel never comes out of their mouth. Because that's the Lord's holy people. That's us. Right. That's our heritage. 
when you read, uh, when you want to find out where you come from, uh, who's your forefathers? Our forefathers is Israel. Right. Okay. Whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, All these which- All churches got a foul spirit up in there. Right. Uh, which... and nothing but women up in there, women teaching. You got uh, women at the heads of the church. This is all backwards, man. Right. Or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with them. Bear with them, because bear with them, that means you're going to get destroyed. But check it out. You want to know what the, the Lord looked like, right? That's the Lord himself. Because a lot of people say, that's a common saying. Nobody knows what he looked like when he was exactly walking around and there's witnesses that was kicking it with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Revelation 1. Because we, know we all know the Israelites... When you read the Bible, it tells you all the Israelites were originally were all dark skinned. What, what you, what's your nationality? Uh, I'm Irish. You're Irish? <laughs> you might be one of us. What's Irish mean? Huh? What's Irish mean? Angry man. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't angry? I'm angry. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. I mean, that's what God's for. You know? Right. How did, the, how did the Irish get to America? Uh, well, most of them. Well, they came over on boats, man. What kind of boats? Yeah. Uh, How did the black people get to America? Slave ships. Same way. I was saying the same way. Slave ships. I mean, they may have came over here like. Well, they came over here. Oh, it's like a, immigration. Well, no, actually, a lot of them you know, did come over here. They got thrown in slavery. A lot of Irish went out to the Caribbean too, mm -hmm. going to slavery down there. But then you had later Irish uh, immigration, like during the Civil War. As soon as the Irish would get off the boat, they put a rifle in their hand and sent them off to fight them. Immediately. They had nothing to do with America. Immediately. They had they had no no they, 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 they had to be gangs in New York. Yeah, gang, you ever seen that movie Gangs in New York? No. Hey, watch that movie Gangs. You look like Leonardo DiCaprio. Huh? You look like Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, well, he's, uh, okay, yeah. Well, what, what, he's a black man. That gives you some Irish history. Because I'll show you. It's a black man. Oh, yeah. Leonardo, that's a black man. Like, he's an Israelite for sure. Listen, Leonardo is? You know, yeah, he's a black man. Let, let me show you something. When you see black people, right? right? Black people with different shades? Okay. Black don't just stop at light skin. And, you know, a, a light brown. It stops, it goes all the way to no figure. Black people come in diff all different shades. Even white, like you. So you more likely, you could be a black man. But all your life you were taught that you, what, a white man. Ain't no such thing as white people. Ain't no such thing. We still got Irish. Ain't no to, such thing. You still got Irish to this day, especially down in the Caribbean, who never lost their pigment. Right. And they still well, to black. To support your theory, I mean, because I do, in a sense, believe that man was once upon a time black because once upon a time once all, all people were black you know and throughout once uh once they spread over the seas like you ever see um hey look at this you ever seen asian american people you know, like chinese that came over 20 years ago and they take look at their kids and then you set them aside to their parents their parents have thinner eyes and their kids have wider eyes so they adapt to the culture so i believe that's because that they get fucked by white people or black people no, 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 no. But two, Asian, two Asian people have a baby in the United States and he's raised in America yeah, also in this cool. climate, in this uh, environment. Climate and his facial things don't change. I climate and environment. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, climate don't really have nothing to do with it. You, know, you, you, got, you got people living up in uh, you got Eskimos north and south. Hell. You know, poles. Yeah, you got They've been living there for thousands of years. Right. Forever. But yeah. they're still darker than me. And then you got uh, you know? Scandinavians who Scandinavians. are uh, snow white. Uh, they pasty as you can get. They pasty as you can get. And that's a lot of Edomites up there. Yeah, but uh, so you you believe Jesus Christ died on on the cross? Yeah, of course. He did die on the cross. Yeah, it rose. And he people. also raised. Right, the Most High raised him up too. Right. Oh, yeah. see, there was witnesses. Check this out. Bro. Check this out. This is the land. This is the land. I understand. No, because we're teaching the Bible. We're not just out here. We're about knowledge. We're about knowledge and truth and wisdom. And that church, comes from God. Of course it does. But all these churches, they're not teaching wisdom. They're not in there teaching the Hebrew. They're not telling you that you're an Israelite. They're not in there. You're getting deep into the scriptures. They're not revealing nothing deep. They're just in there saying the same old stuff. They're just saying the same old thing. They're not teaching nothing, bro. God loves. God loves everybody. He loves it. And yeah, that's the truth. 
No, it's not. That's the, the truth. truth. That's that the is truth. Farthest thing. He loves everyone. That's the farthest yeah. is truth. Where's truth. that in the Bible, though? There's nowhere in the Bible. That's in John. What is it? John? What? God so loved the world, He gave right. His only begotten Son. Okay, that word so "world." That what's that? What's, what's that word "world"? God so loved the world. What's that word "world" in Greek? Yeah, the Bible was. But the word Greek. "world" means cosmos. That word "world" is cosmos, meaning a, a specific group of people, not everybody. That word "world." Now you go to the book of uh, Hebrews, the first. Let me just get it. For you. Let me just get it. You know, the, the, the Bible, the word, the Bible, the words speak better than the way I can explain.